I have heard the Prime Minister say beach watchtowers are being considered. Could you just tell us why is it that it is still being considered since 2018 and why is it that he is so slow at delivering on promises made as far back as 2018? Well, Mr. Speaker, sir, we are doing and we have done, in fact, what the Labour government has not even paid attention to. He's talking about drowning. In fact, we have done better because there was no, no, I would say no warning at that time during the Labour days with regard to people who go to the seaside, whether they go for fishing or for, for a swim or for even a, just for a walk. What we have done is now the meteorological services, they regularly issue warning with regard to swells and recommend people not to venture at sea. And in fact, there have been during, I must say it is very unfortunate that during the, especially the recent uh, past, in spite of the fact that there have been uh, warnings to people not to venture at sea, whether fishermen or uh, people to go for a swim, unfortunately there have been cases where people have, have drowned. So each one has to take his responsibility. The government, we are acting through institutions by warning people whenever there can be a risk of losing their lives, there is a danger, and each one of us then has to take the necessary precaution so that we don't take uh, any risk. What can he do in order to ensure that there is an independent assessment of the policing effectiveness of the police force by an independent body instead of the police themselves passing proper judgment and giving beautiful words and hiding the truth. As in the United Kingdom, this exists. There no. is a report which is Honorable the police. Honorable Leader of the what? Opposition. Honorable Leader of the Opposition. Try to contain your question. Your question is too large. Stop it there. Let the Prime Minister reply. Well, the Honorable Leader of the Opposition maybe is now being selective in his memory. I don't know whether he can recall the days when he was in a Labour government. And yes, he was minister, he was in cabinet. Then, and, and, yes, ma. What is happening? I, what is happening? Mis what is Mr. happening? Mr. 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 Speaker, sir. Mr. Speaker, sir, when, when the leader of the opposition put his question, I did not interrupt him at all. In fact, I listened carefully to what he is saying. I think he should be also respectful to listen to my answer and he not to be, interrupt. He will be and I will tell him at the time, I will, I will answer to what he is saying from a sitting position, uh, inter interrupting me. Let me give the figures for, for and uh, you're talking about law and order, criminality. Look who is intervening. Uh, one who has... What is happening? Honorable Juman, what is happening? This is parliament. No place for bullying. Prime Minister, continue. Order so, everywhere. Let me, let, me give, let me give the figures for crimes... Kisten, be go raisa kete. Go raisa. Honorable Juman, Honorable Juman, I'm taking action against you. I already warned you, and you are continuing. Please move out from the chamber. Continue. I was referring to figures uh, for the year 2007. Uh, the crime. Number, the number of crimes, 6,591. 
and misdemeanors, 41,748. For the year 2008, six crime, 6,340. And for misdemeanors, 42,771. Now, at that time, yes, I was in cabinet with the Honorable Leader of the Opposition. He never, he never, no, at that time late, later on when you mentioned that I was in cabinet with you. But, but he never was concerned about the crime, the crime rate or the, the, the number of misdemeanors. Where was he then? 